In this video, we'll learn how to draw this Christmas tree in Inkscape. This is artwork from a larger Christmas scene that we're learning how to draw. You can download this entire source file and follow along or make subtle changes, uh, but we're learning to draw this whole thing from scratch using Inkscape. If you're not familiar with Inkscape, you can check out some of my other tutorials uh, here on this channel where I teach from a very basic level how to get started using Inkscape. Uh, it's a free program for creating vector art just like this. Uh, this artwork was drawn in Inkscape by UKR Art Design, and I'll also include a link to some of their other work if you want to see more of their artwork. So let's hop over to the screencast now, and we'll start by using the Paths tool, or this Bezier Curve tool. We left-click to create nodes. Every time we click, it'll create a node and draw a straight line between that point. Again, this is more of an intermediate level. I'm assuming you already have basic understanding of the uh, Path tool. But we're going to go ahead and click. If we click uh, left click and hold it'll create more of an arc and when we finish the shape we can come in here and we can adjust it if we want to we'll turn off the stroke and we'll turn on the fill and then we can just choose a color we want we'll go back into selection mode and we can move it around uh, and then we can go to this edit uh, the edit the nodes is what this tool lets us do and we can move around these nodes and sort of fine tune it we can also uh, bow out the line a little bit and adjust the arc if we want to you can also select multiple by left clicking and dragging and you can select and edit multiple nodes at once. Once we have the shape of the Christmas tree looking the way we want it to, we can go into the paths tool again and we'll draw some outlines or some highlights uh, that we want. So this will be a shading for the left side of the tree. And again, it's the same process where we just left click and create these nodes. But in this case, we're going to duplicate the main part of the tree. And then selecting both the tree and the new path, we go to Path Intersection. And that creates just an intersection between the two so that we can highlight or we can change the color and have this be more of a shadow part on the left side of the tree. We'll go back into the Paths tool again and we'll just repeat this same process, this time on the right side of the tree. So we'll left click to create our nodes. We can sort of follow the, the shape of the right side of the tree. Uh, and since this side is closer to the fire, uh, we're going to be having it be lighter. So again, we right click and go to duplicate on the main tree, and then we select our new path and go to path intersection. And that's going to create just the shape of this side of the tree. It doesn't appear until we change the color. We can't really see that it's there, but we'll make this a lighter green. And now we can just make some different highlights in here. These ones, we, don't, we won't do path intersection. We'll just create a path and have it be on top of the tree, just a, a, a level on top basically. And then we can change the color we want and we'll just do a, do a couple of these to create a nice little layered effect of these different branches uh, of this tree. If you feel like you mess up on any of these, you can always add another node just by double clicking when you're in the path tool. You can also just select the object and hit either the backspace or the delete key to just delete that object. Now we'll start creating the ornaments for the tree. So we'll go into the circle tool and we'll just left click and hold and create a nice circle here. And then we can adjust the opacity. If it's down for you, make sure it's up to 100%. We'll change the color. And it doesn't matter the size now because we can rescale later, but we'll draw another circle uh, sort of inside of this to create a, a reflection or sort of a glossy look. It can be white for now. We'll have it be towards the right side, also towards the fireplace. And then we can right click and go duplicate on the original circle. And then we can sort of create an outline. We'll go to path difference, and that's going to create this sliver shape that we can have an outline shadow on the left side. We'll go into the gradient tool and we can create a gradient for that shadow. It's a little dark now, so we'll turn down the opacity. We'll adjust this highlight a little bit more, change the color, and then we can select the whole thing and go to right click and go to duplicate. And then we have three different ones. We can quickly change the color since we just use opacity on these. Um, we can change the color and add a gradient maybe into this uh, highlight towards the right side. 
Select the whole thing. We can group by going Control G on our keyboard, or you can go to Object Group. Uh, we'll duplicate a bunch of these and move them around, then we can just start decorating the tree. They're a little large, so we might select them all. We can do Shift and left click to select all the ones we want, and then we can move them around to the part of the tree that we want to just by left clicking and holding and dragging them to the position we want. If we want another one, we just right click and go duplicate on the one that we want, and we can get another ornament. Let's select the whole tree. We can move it over here and we can group all of these ornaments together by going to Object Group. Let's group our tree together too. If ever you want to get in and move after you group, you can just double click like on the ornament like this and move it individually. Let's go back into the Paths tool again and we'll create sort of this wrap. I forget what this is called on a Christmas tree. I'm sure you can tell me in the comments. We'll create this wrap around the Christmas tree, like a ribbon, kind of wrapping around. And so we just create the look that we want with three separate paths. And then we can select all of them by shift and left click. We turn off the stroke and turn on the fill. And then change the color to the color we want. Go to Object Group. Now they'll all move together. And we can change the level that they're on by with these buttons here. We'll select the whole thing, go to Object Group. Now we have our entire Christmas tree added to our scene. As a final touch, using the path tool, we can create a shadow uh, for the bottom of the tree. And in this case, we'll just create the shadow and then we'll add a gradient. And then we'll just lower it down to a lower level so it's behind the tree. And that creates a nice shadow effect underneath the bottom of this Christmas tree. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go ahead and check out some more learning how to draw the rest of this Christmas scene, and we'll catch you in the next one.